Pride Month is almost over, the month where all these corporations try to pretend how much they care about people by changing their logo to a rainbow. And in the case of so many entertainment companies or comic book companies like Marvel, they decide that they're going to debut or announce or talk to you about new exciting characters that in all reality are typically just tokenized versions of existing characters. But wait, they're gay, which is supposed to make them interesting. In reality, what it probably does is just insults so many of the people that it's meant to pander towards, which is exactly what this is doing. Gay Spider-Man. Marvel introduces its first gay Spider-Man as the latest Spider-Verse variant. And we're going to go over here to this Bounded in the Comics article for more details about it. Marvel Comics introduced new gay Spider-Man variant in upcoming Spider-Verse series. And of course, we've seen Miles Morales. We've seen all these different versions of Spider-Man. We've seen the Spider-Verse, of course. You have one hit and all of a sudden, that's all that they try to do. Just multiverse stuff. Just different versions of these characters that they can play around with continuity and think that they're coming up with a unique story when in reality, it usually just ends up being dog shit. But you had to know that they couldn't get through June without announcing that in a few months, we're going to have our first gay Spider-Man. How exciting. In a move that should surprise absolutely no one, Marvel Comics is set to introduce yet another LGBT plus character to their dwindling readership, this time in the form of a multiversal Spider-Man variant. As revealed in the recently published September solicits, this new web slinger is set to debut in the fifth and final issues of Marvel's upcoming Edge of the Spider-Verse miniseries. Created by writer Steve Fox, who we're going to get into, and artist Christopher Anka, Web Weaver is described as a, quote, not so mild manner, mannered fashion designer at Van Dyne who gets spider powers and shows us a very different kind of Spidey Slayer. And by very different... We mean that this gay Spider-Man has eyelashes, has a high ruffled collar, and spends a lot of time doing very stereotypical poses. You know the Miles Morales comic book we talked about that was just so stereotypical? Hey, look at a black person. This is what black people are like, right? This is kind of what this feels like, except this time it's gay Spider-Man. Like... Look at this pose right here, hands on the hips and like very limp wristed uh, gestures. I, I don't know what quite what's going on, but Steve Fox did put this out here. Surprise, I had the huge gay honor of helping to create Web Weaver, who will make his debut in Edge of the Spider Verse number five, designed by Christopher Anka, covered by. Jose and Maria Casanovas with our interior artist to be revealed soon. Now, this got announced a couple weeks ago, but it was the art that came after that, once they revealed some of the, the concept art and things like that, that people really started paying more attention. Something I realized immediately when conceiving Web Weaver is that he can't and shouldn't represent all gay men. No single character can. His fearlessly femme identity is central to who he is, but it's not the story which you can experience for yourself in September. It 1000% is the point of this character. That is this character's identity. This is his story. He's gay. That's what it is. You made sure that you were able to make this announcement during Pride Month to get the most attention you possibly could for it. But even in this initial post, it, it was interesting because someone says, me being gay thinks with just his picture to go on, he looks super femme. That's fine, I guess, but not all of us are femme queens. Feels like it's feeding the stereotypes. So even the people that this was meant to pander to immediately started talking about this and be like, why does this guy just look like, like the most gay person you could ever possibly imagine? Why are you feminizing him up like this? And all that it did when they showed this was just kind of reiterate that. When you look at kind of the shoulder pads, when you look at the high ruffled collar, when you look at the hands on the hips and the lean, it's very strange what they're trying to do. It's almost like the only reason this character exists is so that they can tell people, look, we have a gay Spider-Verse character. Aren't we incredible? And in reality, that's not even really the case. When you go back like two decades, they had gay characters before in the Spider-Man series. I think on Earth, I don't even remember which one it is. I think it's here in the Marvel comics somewhere. I think they specifically lay it out 
Further, while Web Weaver may be the first gay male spider variant, he's not the first one overall in Marvel history. That would be Mary Jane Watson of Earth 8545, who made her debut as Spider Woman in 2003's Exiles and came to fall in love with a version of Sunfire, who was on the reality hopping team's roster. So it's not even like groundbreaking. It's not even like a new thing they're doing. This happened 20 years ago, and still they're out there trying to pretend like it's a big deal. Now, they obviously said the first gay Spider Man. This is Web Weaver. This is a different character altogether, but it doesn't matter. This is what they wanted. They wanted the mainstream media. They wanted these garbage tier websites to look, look at how stunning and brave Marvel is. When in reality, no one's going to buy this. Like, like look at this. Come on. No, no, no one is going to buy this hot garbage, but this is the trap that Marvel has been falling into for a very long time. They're not going to get out of it. They are so committed. They are going to die. DC is going to die because they're so focused on this instead of just telling good stories. What do you think about gay Spider-Man? Let me know in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.